Section 1.9 describes IPv6 address types. IPv6 is a more complex and versatile system for addressing compared to its predecessor IPv4. It categorizes addresses into several types, each serving a distinct purpose in network communication. Let's start with unicast. A unicast address identifies a single unique interface in an IPv6 enabled device. Packets sent to a unicast address are delivered to one specific host. There are also different types of unicast address. One is the global unicast and the range starts with 2 or 3 like 2000-3. It is routable on the global IPv6 internet. It's the equivalent to public IPv4. An exam tip would be to know that slash 64 is the standard subnet size, even for global addresses. Another type of unicast is unique local address. The range is FC00 slash 7 and commonly uses FD00 slash 8. Its purpose is for private addressing within an organization. This is not routable on the internet. This is an example of a unique local address. It's mostly used in home labs or internal services like DNS or backups. Another type of unicast address is the link local. The range is FE80 slash 10. This is used for communication only on the local link and is not routable off the link or the network and is automatically generated by all interfaces. Exam tip, devices must have a link local address even if they don't have a global address. Then we have Anycast address. This is an IPv6 address assigned to multiple devices, but traffic is routed to the closest device. This is like one address, multiple destination, but the nearest one responds. For example, DNS servers around the world might all share the same Anycast address. A request will be routed to the nearest DNS server. Then, there's the multicast address. This is an address that delivers packets to a group of devices, but not all like broadcast and not just one like unicast. The main goal of multicast is to conserve network bandwidth. The data is sent from the sender in a single transmission and delivered to an entire group of receivers. Multicast is mostly used in streaming, routing updates, or IPv6 neighbor discovery. Here's the summary table for the address type, ranges, and its purpose. Let's now talk about modified EUI64. This is a way to automatically generate the host part of an IPv6 address from a device's MAC address. It ensures the interface ID or the last 64 bits is unique. This is how modified EUI64 works. Take the 48-bit MAC address and insert FFFE in the middle to make it 64 bits. Then flip the 7th bit, which is called the universal or local bit, and this is the second bit in the first byte. To flip the 7th bit, convert the 2 bits into binary first, then flip the 7th bit so the 0 becomes 1, and convert it in hex, it will become 0, 2. So we now have the new 0, 2, 1, A, and the beginning of the EUI64 formatted interface ID. This interface ID is used in stateless address auto configuration or the Slack which is a method that allows IPv6 devices to automatically assign themselves an IP address without needing a DHCP server. The stateless in Slack means no device is tracking the assignment of IPv6 addresses. With Slack, 
Devices can autonomously configure their IPv6 addresses using information provided by router advertisement messages. IPv6 hosts listen to RA messages to know how to configure their addresses. These RAs contain the prefix, and it also contains some flags that indicate how the host should get its IP. One flag is the A flag that stands for Autonomous Address Configuration Flag. The A flag is a bit set in the RA message sent by an IPv6 router. If the A flag is set to 1, the device can use LAC to auto-configure its own IPv6 address. If SLAC is allowed, the device takes the slash 64 prefix from the router, and it also creates the remaining 64 bits or the interface ID on its own, often using modified EUI 64. And the full IPv6 address is generated from the prefix provided by the router and the modified EUI 64. If the A flag is zero, Slack is not allowed. The host may have to use DHCP v6 or other means to get an address. Here's a real world example. Imagine a router sends an RA with this info. If A is one, it uses Slack to generate your own IPv6 address. And if A is zero, it means do not use Slack. You may also see the M flag, which means managed. If M is one, it means you can use DHCP v6, and if M is 0, don't use DHCP v6 for address configuration. Here are some exam tips. Remember that there is no broadcast in IPv6, and multicast replaces it. Know the prefix that identifies each type of IPv6 address. Always remember that EUI64 is often used in Slack, not DHCP v6. Always keep in mind that Slack uses router advertisement messages from routers. And don't forget that RA messages must contain the A flag for Slack to work. One-to-one -one address used to identify a single interface. Used for communication within a single link. Required for IPv6 to work, starts with FE80 and not routable. Flag that enables EUI64 Slack use. A one-to-many address used to send traffic to a group of devices begins with FF. A one-to-nearest address. Same address is assigned to multiple devices. Traffic is routed to the nearest one. Private IPv6 address for internal use, not routable on the internet, and starts with FD. An IPv6 address routable on the internet. It starts with 2 or 3. A method to generate the last 64 bits of an IPv6 address using the MAC address by inserting FFFE and flipping the 7th bit.